Hey there, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I am excited to bring you another business video tip here. Uh, today, I want to talk about getting a little bit more personal with you, though, because what I found in the last few months, uh, working with a couple dozen of my clients, uh, many, many, many of them are going through some challenging times in their personal lives. Imagine that, right? Uh, just like, you know, in case you weren't aware, I actually sprained my ankle, majorly sprained my ankle about a little over three weeks ago and I've been on crutches and icing and elevating and this is actually the first the second day I've actually been able to sit at my desk in three weeks uh, for longer than a half an hour without my my ankle just throbbing so um, our life really does impact our business and I know I talk about that every once in a while probably not as much on video is these days as I used to um, because life is good for me other than um, the ankle and random things, right? Uh, but now I have a, a great husband who totally supports what I'm doing. Even when I'm making big investment dollars towards training or coaching or some other investment, because uh, that's a huge thing for significant others of an entrepreneur. Uh, and I have a great stepdaughter who, although we have some, you know, fun, challenging things going on with how to best parent and discipline uh, things now that she's getting older, you know, that's always fun to figure out. But um, it's nothing major. It's just little life things that you have to figure out, right? Um, and, you know, the occasional house thing that, or the car thing that comes up. But other than that, I mean, knock on wood, things are pretty darn good. And business is a smooth running, money making machine. It is uh, consistent and all that. And this is this is the kind of thing that I want for you, all of you. I don't care who you are, where you are in the world, what you do, what your goals are, what your situation is. My God, I want you to be uh, as happy and as fulfilled and as rich, not in money necessarily, uh, rich in money is great, but rich in life, rich in um, joy and happiness, rich in uh, wealth is also very good to have. How can we get you there is the question because you're all in different places and you're all in different scenarios and situations and lifestyles, right? So, I mean, I've talked with recently, just this week, someone who is living paycheck to paycheck and her husband works like 18 hours a day, she works like 12 hours a day, and mind you, they have seven kids, okay? And they work, they live with a parent in their home and they don't have their own home and they really just live paycheck to paycheck. I have a client like that. And uh, there's so many things we need to do to get over that hump, get past the catch-22, um, that barely scraping by mode. And I know I've been there where I've been sitting on the office floor of my office in a home that I couldn't really even afford anymore, uh, spread out all the bills on the floor, wondering which ones I wasn't gonna pay that month because I couldn't pay them all. And I had, up until that time, when I was about, it was about 39 years old, uh, you know, I'd been able to pay the bills every month, you know. And yes, I'd lived month to month and paycheck to paycheck before, but that month was different. It was scary. It was, um, gosh, how am I going to pay the bills? And I, you know, and a lot of people postpone bills or they move stuff around. And I was always good at moving money, like from one credit card to the other and different interest rates and all that kind of thing. Uh, up until, honestly, I had a bankruptcy. And the bankruptcy um, made it so now I don't have any credit, right? But I'm building it back up now. But, uh, it was, okay, well, if I don't have the money for it, I really can't pay for it because I don't have credit, right? Or I had to borrow. I've borrowed money from uh, clients, uh, not clients, um, family members, from friends of family. Uh, and it's, it's not an easy thing to do by any means, 
but it's it's gotten me to where I am today and I had to do some really uncomfortable things and so may you you may have to do some uncomfortable things um, but I always had in the back of my mind even in those dark days and those deep depressing crying you know days I always had in the back of my mind that okay nobody's gonna die uh, if I did lose my house which I didn't if I did lose my house and had to move in with my mom, you know, life still will go on and I can rebuild. I can, I always thought too, I'm like, I can always go back and get a job, a J-O-B, although I didn't think about that often because I I never really had a plan B. Like, I'm all in in this business and, and I never really thought, okay, well, if it doesn't work out, I'll go back and get a job. And I never had one foot in the corporate um arena. I never had that even a big toe. I never really had a big toe back in that in that life. I always was all in, full in, full speed ahead in the business, knowing that all I had to do was just talk to more people and find those people who needed me and needed my help and needed my advice and and I could uh, coach and help them or whatnot. And I always had that faith. Do you understand? This is like the biggest difference I see in a lot of my clients is the faith, the faith in yourself, the faith that it'll always work out in the end, that no one's going to die because of whatever, um, you know, and, and I, with there may be some of you who, um, you know, homeless is not always an, I, I don't want to say there's, you never will become homeless because I don't know who's watching this and maybe you are and maybe that's something that's scary for you and if you don't have family or friends that uh, you can necessarily move in with, even temporarily. I had to move in with a girlfriend and her husband for four months after a big breakup when I was 40. And I moved out of that house with him and my house that I owned was already rented. It was rented for another four months. So I had to live in a spare bedroom of my girlfriend's house uh, for four months with my dog <laughs> and everything. And it was probably the most depressing time of my life, but I knew that it would always work out in the end because I could move into my house again. At least I had it, right? Now, I don't know, I'm kind of rambling, but what I wanted to just share with you was like, there is hope. There is hope if you have faith that you are strong, independent, smart, and that you will succeed that you will figure it out or get help to figure it out of whatever it is you're doing or striving to do. Um, you still can achieve those big dreams. Um, I talk about living big. There's my picture, right? Live big. I talk about living big for a reason because I believe, I believe that everybody can live big if you have that faith and you take the right inspired action and you're motivated or you motivate yourself every day or you get motivated every day. Something has to get you motivated. And one thing that, that obviously keeps you from being motivated is some of the negative naysayers in your life. So you got to watch out for that and not surround yourself <coughs> or even let those people encroach on your energy because it can really squash you like a bug as far as your entrepreneurial energy goes <coughs> and you won't get farther faster and so I just really wanted to speak from the heart today because I don't want you to stay where you are I don't want you to settle I don't want you to think you have to settle I don't want you to think that I'll never achieve my dreams I don't want you to think that you know this is what life is life's hand me lemons and I got lemons instead of figuring out how to make lemonade right um, now, going back into the personal side, if you are, there's a lot of people in my life or that come to me for help, probably because I've been there too, and they, you know, like attracts like, and so I get a lot of clients who are uh, not doing too well in their love relationship, and there's sometimes our conversations have to be nuts and bolts about how to converse and communicate better with your significant other so that they can be more supportive of you in your business. And 
most of the time, those significant others have a J-O-B, and they're not necessarily, don't have necessarily the entrepreneur mindset. So there's the employee mindset, and there's the entrepreneur mindset, and they don't always see eye to eye or understand each other, right? It's not that either one's a bad thing. It's just you have to communicate differently. When you're an entrepreneur, and if you're married to someone who's not an entrepreneur or not that successful as being an entrepreneur, then you have to figure out how to communicate differently than maybe you have in the past, okay? And um, because a lot of times you're going to be investing in your business. You're going to be investing in a website or a coach or a workshop or traveling to a conference or something to better yourself for either self-development work or business development work. We all need it. We all we all need it. I'm sorry. You, it's it will be almost impossible to get to your money goals without any of that, right? And, you know, reading books and looking at free YouTube videos is one thing, but really getting that support is a, is a totally different thing and can set you on a whole new tra trajectory in your business. But making sure that the communication is there with the significant other is the biggest thing because you can either have them on your side or you can have them as your... And as, a, as your ally or have them against you and you're fighting an uphill battle and it's no fun. And then if you're fighting the uphill battle, where's the relationship? Where's the love and intimacy and um, attention and affection that each of you need, frankly? It's usually non-existent. And when it's non-existent, then what? Then there's cheating or unhappiness or resentment. And then what? Then there's divorce or worse or sickness even right because you've gotten yourself into this unhappy place so if you are there know that you don't have to stay there and it might be scary to go and have a conversation with that person whoever it is that's not supportive but it's I can almost guarantee you that if you have the conversation and you can get through and let them understand you, assuming they're willing, um, life will be better for you. Life will be better. The weight will be off your shoulders about that. You'll be able to attract new great clients. Uh, you're going to have more self-confidence and self-awareness about what's going on and what you're capable of doing. You're going to get new fun ideas. So please don't ignore the personal thing because it is critical to the success of your business. I just wanted to share all of this today because it's sometimes it's the it's these types of conversations that can catapult my clients and I hope that if you take a deep look at what's going on in your life, your personal life, your love life, your business life, your family life, and even yourself, um, if there's anything in turmoil or that you're tolerating or settling for, you have to figure out how to stop doing that and take charge of that part of your life so that it can be a happier place for you and everyone around you. It will do everyone good, even kids and dogs and whatever you have in your household. You being a better person is going to make life easier for everybody. So don't ignore that and just focus on the money or the business or the clients. Please don't ignore the personal side of, your, of yourself and um, take charge of it. You can do it. If you need help, um, you know, my book, this one, the Love Yourself Successful book is a great book for you in that place. You can find it on Amazon. You can go to loveyourselfsuccessful.com and get it there. Um, I'll sign it and ship it off to you. But honestly, uh, don't wait. Don't wait to do this. Okay. Um, and if you're single, then there's hope for you too. Uh, we can get you and uh, you can get to a point to where you're really comfortable with yourself and then what you really want in that next relationship. You have to be super clear or you could get the wrong thing. <laughs> all right, you guys. Hopefully this was helpful. I wish you all the best and happiness in your business and your life. And uh, this is Katrina Sawa with Jumpstart Your Marketing signing off. Have a good day. We'll talk to you soon.